Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at the new features inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC, the 7.1 update. There's a lot of cool stuff Adobe has crammed into a, a very small space. I'm looking forward to showing you some of the highlights today. Last week, Adobe updated all their Creative Cloud video applications, so this week I want to show you some of the highlights in this new release. They fall into the following categories, timeline flexibility, improved editing, Adobe calls this editing finesse, improved trimming, improved transitions and effects, improved multicam, a direct link to speed grade, and there's some other stuff as well. So let's get started by looking at the new features in Adobe Premiere Pro CC version 7.1. Let me show you multicam. Let's go down here open up a new sequence. I have a multicam sequence. This was um, this is a, an ice capades that was shot in uh, Tennessee by Green HD Productions. And they shot it with four cameras. A high, slightly off to the left camera, that's their master shot. It was a lockdown camera. They had a tight shot. This followed all the action on the, on the ice. They had a jib arm that moved up and down to be able to try to get some movement coming in from the side. And just to protect themselves, they had a tripod-based side camera that would follow the action as well. So we had two close-up cameras, a floating camera, and a wide camera. I want to be able to edit this. To build a multicam clip inside Premiere, select the clips that you want. With the clips selected, go up to the Clip menu and create a multi-camera source sequence. This gives you a chance to name the multicam clip, determine how it's going to be synchronized. I've gone through and set in points to make all the action match. Here's a new piece right down here. The camera names, the angles themselves, can be based upon just simply camera one, two, three. It'll enumerate, give numbers to the cameras, or it'll in inherit the name of the track, V1, V2, V3, or it'll use the clip names. Well, I've already named the cameras. Notice here it's camera one, two, three, four. So I'll use clip names. This set of radio buttons is new with this release. When I click OK, it now creates my multicam clip. I'm going to select the clip one time, right mouse click, and down at the bottom, all the important ones are always at the bottom. I'm going to open this up in the timeline. This is how I'm able to adjust my multicam clip. The reason this is important is the multicam clip always defaults to track A1, which is fine if that's the camera that's got your audio. Remember, that's my high wide shot. But the camera that has the audio is actually the A2 camera. So I'm going to mute the audio from the camera one and turn on the audio from camera two because the audio is much better. Now, you're not going to hear the audio today because I've turned off audio for bandwidth reasons. But what you're able to do by opening the multicam clip in the timeline is to mute or unmute audio tracks as are necessary. Because I have four cameras here, okay, I'm going to select camera three. I'm going to apply a filter to it. In this particular case, I'll go to the effects filter. I'm going to look for desaturate. And I'm going to just desaturate camera three. The reason for desaturating is notice that I've applied the effect before I've started to edit the multicam clip. This is really useful if, for instance, you have four cameras or X number of cameras, and one of them is blue or orange because you forgot to color balance the camera before you started recording. You can fix the color now in the master multicam clip and have that filter carry through to the end. So now we go back to the project and we go back to our multicam sequence. This is our multicam clip up here. And I'm going to double click it just to make sure it's there. There's my multicam clip. Hit the overwrite button and it's edited down to the timeline. When it's in the timeline, notice that I've got camera one high wide, camera two close up, jib arm, and the tripod camera to the side. Once I've loaded it into the source monitor, another option shows up called edit cameras. What I was looking for is I was looking for this when the clip is opened in the timeline. The multicam clip has to be opened in the source monitor. It comes up with something new. For instance, I can change the order. I want to take my two wide shots and put them together. So I simply click and drag and my wide shots are together. And I don't want to see this side camera at all, so I'm going to disable it. When I click OK, 
There's my two wide shots. There's my close-up. And notice that my black and white filter is being interpreted even before I've edited this multi-clip down. I could always take that filter off either now to take it out of the master clip or out of each individual clip. But think of this as a color correction filter or other effect that you need to add. Rather than have to select each individual instance of this clip, you can apply it once and be done. We get there by going to the wrench menu, going down to edit cameras. I want to turn on camera four. I want to drag the position of two and three back again. Watch what happens. It'll go wide, tight, wide, tight. There we go. And we're ready to edit. When we're in the process of editing the multicam, that has not changed. We would go up to the wrench menu, go down to multi-camera, and the way you edit any multicam is to hit the space bar and play it, and just click on the shot that you want to click on. And you can edit the multicam. What I like about this is the flexibility of being able to turn shots on and off, change the arrangement of shots after you've built the multicam, because sometimes we just don't get it right. And having to go all the way back to the beginning and rebuilding the multicam wastes time. This is another feature where saving time is a big deal. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the new features inside the latest release of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 113. Thanks. Membership is a great way to stretch your training dollars because a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. Access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.